Stephanie Togoa. Today I offer you a new foam rolling routine. Yay! Aren't you excited? This one comes by request by my former student Cara from New York City. So great to have Cara with me here on YouTube. I made this routine a little different than the other foam rolling routine for the lower body that I made a long, long time ago. This one covers really the whole entire body and I hope that you're going to like it. I am using a soft foam roller, but I also have a hard foam roller. The thing is, I prefer the soft foam roller and my husband prefers the hard foam roller. Now, there is a difference between a soft foam roller and a hard foam roller, so instead of going through all of that here in the intro, I made a blog post about it. So you can follow the link in the description box below and read about the differences and also the benefits of using a foam roller, all right? So I hope you enjoy this, go through it, let me know in the comment box below how this feels on your body and if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Let's get started. We're going to start off testing out two different poses so that at the end we're going to repeat that and see if uh, any changes has happened along the way. So first, lie down on the floor, just in a Shavasana position. Be very comfortable with your legs uh, separated, your arms at your sides. And notice how your spine feels. Notice if your spine is uh, lifted off the floor, if your spine feels like it's resting on the floor. Notice how your neck and your shoulders feel, as well as both of your shoulder blades. And then from there, you're going to lift up, cross your legs, and go into a downward facing dog. So to test out your downward dog, you wanna make sure that from a plank pose, keeping the shoulders over your wrist, you lift your hips, send your sitting bones to the ceiling, and then from there, try to draw your heels towards the floor. And just notice how you feel here. Notice your calves, your hamstrings, your lower middle, upper back, your entire spine, as well as your chest and your shoulders. Good. And then you're going to try to remember that. <laughs> and we'll go through our routine now. First is a cat cow. So your hands are going to be on the foam roller, shoulder distance apart. See that your shoulders are on top of your wrists and your legs are hip distance apart with your hips on top of your knees. So we're just going to exhale, round our spine into a cat. And then inhale, arch it to a cow. Do that again, exhale, round it into a cat. Just feel that your shoulder blades are separating, just airing out right in between the shoulder blades there, which tends to get very tight. And then inhale, arch. Let's do it one more time. Exhale, round it in. And inhale, arch. And then come to a neutral spine. You're going to set your hips back so that uh, your hips are as close to your heels as they can be. And just extend your arms out and slide the roller forward and see if you can rest your forehead on the floor. Giving your triceps a good stretch, your chest, your lats are involved here, your lower, middle and upper back as well, shoulders. Now we're gonna exhale, roll ourselves up a little bit, so draw the Foam roller with you, and then inhale all the way forward. Exhale, roll it up, and inhale forward. Exhale up, inhale forward, and just one more time, exhale up, and you might feel a little bit of a stretch or release into your forearms as well. Good. And we're going to come up and we're going to do something called threading the needle. So you're going to make sure that your hips are on top of your knees. And you're going to slide your right arm to your left so that you're resting on the side of your arm as well as the side of your face. And your left arm extends out in front of you. 
So you'll feel a good stretch into your tricep again, into the shoulder, into the left, as well as into the right shoulder there. So take a few breaths here. Inhale fully and exhale completely. And then gradually come back up. And I'm going to shift to the other side. See that the hips are on top of your knees. You're twisting from the bottom of your ribs. Rest to the left side of your face, left side of your shoulder and arm. Left palm is facing up, right palm is facing down and the arm extends to the front. So full breath in, full breath out. And then gradually push away and come up. Good. So those are just nice little stretches for the upper body. Now we're going to get into the shins. So you're going to come onto your foam roller. And I like to do it different ways. So I start below the knee and then I go back towards my ankles and even towards the tops of the feet. And then I roll back. I like to put a little bit more pressure into my shins because I don't feel this as much. And sometimes I just sort of hang out here in a child's pose position and I go forward and then I go back. And sometimes I'll feel it more towards the bottom of my knee and sometimes I'll feel it more towards my ankle. You know, it depends on the activity. And then you can do like a plank, a little bit more of a core exercise. And this one is great. So you get to multitask and do two things at the same time. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to move towards our quads. So you're going to slide down and you're going to go back and forth here a little bit. And you're always going to have to adjust yourself, of course. I'm not a huge fan of doing both at the same time. I kind of don't feel that much with both. Uh, that's up to you. If you feel that this is better for you, go for it. I like to do them individually. So I'll bend one leg and then I'll work one quad at a time and I'll always roll up and down a bit and then investigate and notice to see where those little juicy spots are <laughs> just keep breathing as deeply as fully as you possibly can and then when you find a juicy spot you can scream you can shout <laughs> Let it all out if you want to. Start to bend and extend the leg a bit. Oh yeah. And then you start to feel that you get a little bit deeper. And then you can gradually move yourself up and down from there. Even you can go a bit cross body. I keep my, I mean cross muscle, cross fiber. I keep my leg bent and then I just move back and forth. And I definitely feel that more up towards my hip. And it changes here as well. Good. And I'm going to do the other side, bending the right leg. And I'm going to move back and forth. And then just investigate and see what the story is on this side. My left side and right side are always a bit different. So, always fun to see what's going on. Just keep breathing. Good. And then you're going to release and gradually come off. Now we're going to lie down on our back, actually. Come into a bridge position, lifting the hips, and then you're going to place the foam roller onto your lower back. So you want to make sure that when you uh, lower your body onto the foam roller and you lift your legs up that you feel comfortable in that position. Keep both of your hips leveled. You're going to bend the right leg and extend your left leg out. And hold on to that right knee. Try to make sure that your left leg is extended so now you feel a deep stretch into the hip flexor as well as into the quadricep. 
and depending on your flexibility you can keep drawing the right leg as close to you as possible. Try to keep both of your shoulder blades grounded onto the floor. Keep breathing and try to have a little Mona Lisa smile on your face. It always helps. All right, you're going to draw the left leg in. Use your core as you transition and extend the right leg out. All right, and just notice how it feels on this side. It might be different. And then draw the left leg as close towards your chest as you can maintain the levelness of your hips, as you can keep maintaining deep breathing, keep maintaining that Mona Lisa smile on your face. No grimaces, it just tightens up the body. And draw the right knee in. Great. Lower your feet to the floor. And you're now going to turn yourself to the side and come up. And we're going to roll up and down through the outer upper hip. Here you can bend your left leg if you want to and come up a little bit higher. And then just move your body a little bit side to side. Go up and cross fiber. Right? Just so see what you find. Try not to move into it and make it harder than what it is. If it feels excruciating, try to see if you can soften and make it less uncomfortable. All right? If it doesn't feel really hard, you know, don't move into it and try to make it any harder. Just allow the movement to happen and, and um, allow the fluid to start to keep moving and uh, you're fine. All right, go up and down through the IT band. And if you find a tight spot, try to pause, bend and extend the leg. And then try to pause and just hold, breathe for a few moments on that spot and then just gradually move it up. The IT band always feels a bit tight. Good. We're going to shift it over to the other side. Starting in the outer upper hip, those outer glute area, external hip rotators. So doing this and releasing that area is great for pigeon pose as well as ankle to knee pose and the cow's face pose. Wonderful complement. Good, maybe move the hips a little bit side to side. And then we'll move up and down along the IT band. Yeah, right there. And just once you found that spot, just bend and extend the leg a little bit. Are you screaming? Are you shouting? <laughs> and then pause wherever you feel a tight spot. Keep breathing. Hold. And then gradually start to work your way up. Oh yeah. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right. We're going to lie down and we're actually going to place the foam roller on our calf. You're going to keep one leg bent and I like to just move it a little bit back and forth. And then when I start to feel like there is a tight spot then I soften my calf muscle completely and I wiggle it a little bit side to side. So sometimes I'll feel it more towards my ankle or in the Achilles area 
and sometimes I'll feel it a little bit more towards the middle of my calf and even sometimes more towards the outside of the calf. So just a little bit, but the key thing is just to completely try to soften the muscle, relax the muscle, and then move around. And initially, it can be excruciating. But the more you try to soften it, and the more you wiggle it around, the more it hydrates the muscle, and it will be then easier to stretch. Try it on the other side. Feels it's a little bit challenging initially to really soften and relax the calf muscle. So you have to use your <laughs> mind and go down there. Uh, and uh, it's not always so easy to find that connection. But practice, just keep at it. Good, good, good. All right, now you're going to take the foam roller and you're going to place it behind your neck. And then lift your head a little bit so you can drape your neck over the foam roller and just rest your arms at the side. And sometimes it might feel like the neck is too short, maybe because it's really tight. So you can just hang out there, let your head get very heavy, let your body get really heavy. And then you can, I like to lift my hair and my head a little bit and then move it to the side. So I go a little bit more diagonally to the side into the side of the neck. And from there you can do a gentle no and then just a gentle yes. And here, don't crank yourself into the neck if it feels extremely tight. Definitely don't crank yourself into the neck or into the foam roller and dig yourself in there and say, God damn it, I'm going to release that tension. Just completely soften yourself into it. And breathe. Good, and then gradually change it over to the other side. All right, just go a bit on a diagonal. Hang out there for a little bit. Just a little gentle, yes. Gentle, no. And come back to the center. Good. Now, we're going to lift up and we're going to go back and forth along our spine. So you're going to have to adjust here a bit. Go up and down. And then right in your mid-back, you're going to lower the head back a little bit. You can lower your seat as well. And then gradually lift up. Just a little bit. Don't pull on the neck. Just support your head. And come up. Inhale as you go back. Exhale as you go up. Inhale back. Exhale up. One more time. Inhale back. Exhale up. Lovely. And now the last one, we're going to lie on the foam roller. So sit towards the edge and make sure that your torso is resting on the foam roller as well as the back of your head. You can keep your knees together or you can keep them separate. Rest the arms at the side of your body. And now let your entire body soften and drop into the foam roller. And feel the back of your head also softening into the foam roller. And then we're going to extend the arms to the ceiling or to the sky. Interlace your fingers. You might need to bring your knees a little bit together and feet open. And you're going to rock side to side. All right, so this requires a little bit of balance. So you're basically going to go to the right so that you're giving your left side a bit of a massage. And you can go over as far as you want. And you'll feel, find yourself moving to the outer upper hip. I love this one. 
Alright, but just gradually work with it as you go to the left, you're massaging the right side of your spine. And you can go a little bit further over. And like I said, it requires a little bit of core strength involvement and balance. So there has been times when I've fallen over <laughs> to the side, so let's see <laughs> if I can avoid that. Just very gently. And go just as many times as you want, but it should feel good. Feel free to stretch the arms to the side. Reach them to the back, draw the knees together and stretch it all out and release. Now we're going to roll over to the side, put the foam roller to the side as well. Come back into that Shavasana position that we did in the beginning. And now notice if uh, you feel a difference. Does it feel the difference in your spine? Does it feel like your spine is resting more onto the ground? Does it feel different around your shoulder blades, shoulders, neck? Let me know. And then we're going to turn around and we're going to test out that downward facing dog. And notice here if it feels any different. Notice the calves, the hamstrings, your spine, your shoulders, your chest, your neck. Just the overall feeling in your body. And release. And usually I feel like it's um, more lubricated. It feels like there's a current running through my body, feels more hydrated. It definitely feels easier to stretch after having done this uh, routine. So I hope that this has been helpful for you as you've gone through it. Do it again and again. You can do it as often as you feel is good for you. Just make sure that you do it on a regular basis. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment box below and tell me how this is feeling on your body. All right, I wish you well. Happy stretching, foam rolling, and I'll see you next time. Bye.